everybody's putting that conversation, who is the best, LeBron or Jordan. I think it's... You are one of the best center who ever played for the, for the Cubs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what remains you from your career? I did everything in my power to be a at my best at all times. Not only with the Cavs, but when I played for national team and every other team that I played for, I always looked at it, what can I do to be important? What can I do to help the team? What can I do for us to win? I always try to find a way to be important, to be play more minutes and stuff like that and respect the game. So that's pretty much what I did and worked hard. You work hard, good things happen. So that's what I did. I did my best and, and, and I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Injuries got to me, but towards the end of my career so I had a chance to to actually have a career before I started to get hurt and all that I'm very pleased with uh, what I accomplished and let's see what this next journey has for me it's been good so far but for a lot of people he's the good he's the best player who ever played the game of basketball what do you think about this I think he's one of the best I mean it's hard for you to sit here and pick one because you know the guys played in different times and different eras and all that you know Michael Jordan is the king of his you know his time and all that and different times and you should we should appreciate everything that Jordan did for basketball for and sure. everything that LeBron and, and Kobe and all the other guys that come into that conversation. They are two different type of players too. Jordan was more like a scorer and stuff like yeah. that. LeBron is more like a playmaker and all that. Like I said, just just appreciate what he's doing and keep loving the game and, and, and let people talk about it. In 2004, you met a certain LeBron James. Did you just immediately feel, felt that he would become the player that he is right now? I mean, if I say it right now that, yeah, I knew right away, I'm lying. But I knew how special he was and how good he was. I mean, you never know what can happen during your career. You can get hurt and other things can happen. He's everything that everybody used to say. Before I got there, it's like, oh my God, they're going to play with LeBron James. This guy is this, this, and that. It's like, yes, he, he was all that and he kept getting better and he's yeah. still playing and he's still doing <laughs> great so that shows you how good he is how special he is and it's a player that we should appreciate what he's doing because players like him don't come around often and uh, sometimes we take it for granted that's not a good thing I just wanted to give this piece of advice to everyone that's still watching him now to like enjoy it and 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 take advantage of this because it's not going to be forever. How do you feel yourself being in Paris? It feels great. We we got here yesterday. Paris just makes you feel good, right? It's a beautiful city, beautiful energy. So I'm having a good time. I was able to bring my family this time, my kids. So it's a special moment for all of us. And. Uh, and also being with, with Cleveland with a different title this time, it makes it special too. So I'm enjoying, I'm having fun. Thank you a lot. Yeah, you got it. <laughs>